Next question is from Roatan Barb. I will be 60 in two months and weight train three to five times per week and also walk 12 to 15,000 steps per day. I have been on a fitness journey for 20 years and count my macros, but I am struggling to reduce my body fat and increase my muscle mass. I hired a personal trainer a year ago and have increased my weights consistently. I am also following anabolic. I'm not sure if it's my age, but I'm just not seeing results. I know when I overtrain, which I tend to do, and I work a high-stress, 60-hour-a-week desk job and wonder if stress is playing into it. I watch my sleep and get consistent seven hours per night. Any suggestions? Now, there's a, a little bit that contradicts itself there because uh, uh, he says that he increases... This is a, a guy, right? So mm -hmm. A woman. A woman. Okay, so this she says she increases her weights. So I'm assuming that means she's adding more weight and getting stronger, but then she doesn't think she's seeing results. Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming that what she's alluding to is that she's not seeing physical change in maybe her body fat percentage. Mm -hmm. But if you're not seeing as much definition. Right. Because if you're if you're adding weight to the bar and you're getting stronger, you're that's, that's one of the best positive signs. You right. Have. You're mm -hmm. you're changing it. And a lot of times if you're uh, not seeing the reduction in body fat or muscles aren't uh, you know standing out more and you're not looking a certain way, uh, I would address m more things related to what you alluded to, which is stress and diet. Yeah, I, I'll say this, just based off of, and I don't know you, but just based off of this message, uh, you three to five days a week, you got you know what, how many steps you're taking, you know what your macros are, you work a high stress job, you watch your sleep very carefully. You, I think stress is playing a very, very big role. I think you're over yeah. focused and hyper focused on everything. I would guess, again, I don't know this person, but I would guess you're type A and a bit obsessive with the workouts and the nutrition. Now, what I would say is I would take a step back mm -hmm. from the exercise that you're currently doing. I would lift weights no more than three days a week, and I would incorporate recuperative type yeah, the other two activity. Days. Um, yin yoga would probably be phenomenal. Meditation would probably be phenomenal. Now, if you're listening to this right now, and that in your in, and when I say yin yoga, you you roll your eyes or cringe like, oh, I can't do that. I can't yeah. sit still. That's a sign. Yeah, it's for you. That you're yeah, it's probably something you're going to benefit from. Um, seven hours of sleep also probably a little low considering all that activity. I would aim for eight hours of sleep at least two days a week. And create a, a sleep routine. Try this. Maybe on one of the days that you're doing all that all that exercise, do a yin yoga class and about two hours before bed, do a sleep routine. Turn off all your electronics. Uh, go by candlelight or by like a Himalayan salt lamp. Wear blue blocker glasses. Relax, calm. Try to get eight hours or, or eight and a half hours of sleep and then see what happens. I was shocked years ago. I had a client who was just fanatical about her workouts. Um, and one of her workout days was running. And this was early on in my career when I started to piece together the stress piece. And I said, you know, let's try replacing the run that you do on Sunday with a yoga class and some meditation and relaxation. And she's like, I'm going to gain weight. I'm not going to burn as many calories. And I said, yeah. well, let's just see what happens. Well, at first she didn't gain weight. Uh, she didn't lose weight or gain weight. But I mean, that was a great plus. I said, wow, you're not burning as many calories, but you haven't gained any weight. Something interesting may be happening. Well, over the course of a few months, her body started to respond positively again. And it was definitely that over-application of stress. Here's That's what you need to do. You need to go to Cabo for a week and do <laughs> jack shit. <laughs> Don't do anything. You're and like, then come back and, and see. That, I mean, it's going to be a great determiner as to whether or not you know you're spinning your wheels too fast. That's right. America's favorite trainer has spoken. There it <laughs> is. <laughs> you know, it's hard to answer questions like this because we we don't know enough information, right? Like, uh, so and so we're always like reading into it, like trying to figure out, like, okay, what exactly does she mean by this? Because you, it does sound like you're very meticulous about everything. It does sound like you're high stress. It does sound like you're training plenty if you're training three to five days a week, especially in advanced age, uh, and you're only getting seven hours of sleep. And I don't know where your caloric intake is. And I don't know if what you're not happy with is the visual change that you are you may or may not be seeing in your body, and that's your main concern. And then the, I would also add that, okay, if, if that's what it is, and you're doing this, and maybe it's it's a caloric intake, uh, and and also reevaluate your goals. Asking yourself to build muscle 
and reduce body fat to, to look leaner and look better at the same time uh, is tough. That's really tough yeah. to do. Like you're, and if you're somebody who is also burning the candle at both ends a little bit, it's re- even more tough. That's you, a very fine dance. You know what this reminds me of? I, I've, I've trained people like this where they just got everything planned out. They know everything. They're doing crazy workouts. And they're like, my body's just not changing. And I'm looking at them and I'm like, you're shredded. Like you, you're not going to change anymore. You're you're kicking ass. Like relax for a there. second. Yeah, I've had yeah. a few clients like that where yeah. they're just like, oh my body, this little bit of body fat on my hip or this is not working. Yeah, I'm like, too, yeah, you're too fucking, obsessive. Yeah. Well, that's, you know, if I had a client who's 60 and is working like crazy and is training three to five times a week and they to- and we're adding weight to the bar, we are celebrating. Yeah. You know, now if my client was came to me and said my main goal is to get leaner and get shredded, well then I'm not really worrying about adding weight to the bar, and I'm probably going to restrict their calories more and try and lean them out, and I'm not concerned if they're not adding weight to the bar and building a bunch of muscle because they said, Adam, I really want to get lean. So, you know, you're kind of like wanting your cake and eat it too. It's like you're wanting to, you know, get stronger, build muscle, but also lean down. Also, I'm going to work six days a week. I'm also going to train five days a week. You know. That's a lot going on that you're demanding from your body. Uh, maybe be a little more realistic with what your goals are and focus on one of those and, and celebrate that. If it's getting stronger and building muscle, you're probably doing that. You're adding weight to the bar. It's happening. Now, yeah. if you don't like what you see visually, we'll switch your goal to be more aesthetic driven, less focused on strength and building muscle and start to do something that, to Sal's point, maybe you're doing less of the weight room training, more recuperative stuff. You're restricting more calories calories or adding in more walks in your day, stuff like that to restrict or to cut back on calories to lose body fat. So that it's hard to try and Yeah, and then, you know the part where she says I know I overtrain, so it's like a, which I tend to do, high stress, 60 hour work, uh, a, a hour a week desk job. She's already saying I'm wondering if stress is playing a role to Look, I've talked about if this If you think it is it probably yeah, is. Yeah, it right? is. And I've told you I've talked about this this these studies several times on the show. The relationships that you have with the people around you have more of an impact on your health than your exercise or diet alone. So maybe one of those days that you're working out, uh, go hang out with someone and have meaningful relationships. What you may actually find is by doing that, you start to care less about and obsess less about how you look. And maybe you are already shredded. Again, I've had clients like this where they're like, ah, my body's not responding. I'm looking at them like, whoa. It's not going to respond because you're already at the pinnacle. You're like at the peak. Um, you know, maybe take so much some focus off of that and focus on other things. And again, those relationships with the people around you can have more of a positive impact. So if you're really focused on your health, if that's an issue where you're lacking, I'd say maybe place a little bit of focus there. The, I just pulled up the lady who's 60. She looks good, bro. I knew it. Yeah. I knew, she, 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 she I looked, knew it. Man. Yeah. She's got shoulder definition. Yeah. She's pretty lean. That's what she, I thought. Yeah, yeah, That's no, what I thought. No, she, I, was, I hate to detract you there, but I had to look her up real quick just to see, like, you know what? You're right, Sal. I wonder if she's already probably- Yep, that's and, it. And, 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 you're, and you're adding weight to the bar and you're kicking mm-hmm. ass at work for 60 hours. You and I, if you were a client of mine, we'd be high-fiving and I'd be mm-hmm. talking Take to you- Take a day off, go hang out with your friends. Right. I would be talking <laughs> to you more about going easier on the, the pressure that you're putting on yourself because- uh, you look phenomenal. Uh, you look phenomenal for anybody. You look ex- exceptionally phenomenal for somebody who's 60 years old. So thought, and yeah. if you're also adding weight to the bar. So you're just asking that to get you to say that. <laughs> you're, sorry, you're, you're searching <laughs> for compliments. Be honest, you're yeah. fishing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 